All right, hello everyone, and this is the third video. We're gonna start talking about how to create objects. All right, so in Maya, you have what we call as geometry. Geometry is basically, think about it like a material. In real life, you have sculpture, and if you want something to be very sturdy and shiny, you'll probably go with something like metal. Now, if you want it to be shiny, but appear to be fragile, you may go with something like glass. Um, different materials give you different attributes according to what you're looking for and what you're trying to make. It's the same concept in 3D. Instead of calling it material, we call it geometry. And you pick your geometry according to what you are trying to make. You can basically make anything with any type of geometry. It's just, it may be a little easier with one type versus another. Alright, so there are three different types in Maya. Um, first is NURBS. Under the Create menu, you can see NURBS. Second is Polygons. And third is Subdivision Surfaces, or SubDs for short. We're going to work with Polygons first because they're the easiest to understand. If you can understand Polygons, then you can understand the other two because they basically derive or kind of stem off of the idea of Polygons, just in a different way. Alright, so if I go to Polygons and by default, on the bottom here, interactive creation is turned on. So I'm going to turn it on. And when I come down and say I make a cube, it's going to ask me to draw this cube out. So I'm going to draw out the base. And when I let go, I'm going to draw out the height. And I'm going to let go. And I can see the size of this cube. All right, It's a fairly, fairly large cube. Okay, And on the right side of my screen, I can see my channel box. If you can't see your channel box, just click on the top right button here and this basically has the, the navigational information for this object so my translate I can see here um, has numbers for where it is in space um, my rotate and my scale now my scale is set to 1 that lets me know that this is the object's default value at the default size at 1 if I type in 2 for all of this it's going to be double the size all right. Now, if I come back up to create, and I go to polygons again, and this time I'm going to uncheck interactive creation. And now if I make a cube, it doesn't ask me to draw it out. Instead, Maya just brings it in at the default size. So now I can see that my object is a lot smaller than my big object. However, my scale for this object is set to 1. And for the big object, if I click on that, it's also set to 1. So say if I wanted this big cube to be double the size of my small cube, I would have to do that by eye. I will have to match it by eye, because there's no numerical way to make sure that it's twice the size. All right. So I suggest turning the interactive creation off. That way, anytime you make an object, it's always going to come in at the same size and it's not going to be that difficult to uh, keep everything in relationship to each other because it's coming in at the same size alright so that's it for this video in the next one we're going to talk about how to move objects around and how to edit them